Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to do our first example uh, at uh, calculating the discrete time Fourier transform, or DTFT, for a given signal. Um, so the discrete signal that we have uh, goes from x of n, n equals 3, to x of n equals 6. Uh, that means that outside, meaning from x to all the way down to minus infinity, and x7 all the way up to infinity, it's equal to 0 as you can see on the graph over here. Um, the numerical values for uh, x are 2, 7, 4, 1, and 0 everywhere else. Uh, the two useful formulas are the DTFT formula, which is the summation of n goes from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, of x of n times the exponential of minus j w n, where j is complex. Um, also, we're going to use Euler's formula. e to the jx is equal to the cosine of x plus j times the sine of x. So we're going to write it out the long way first. x e to the jw is equal to x3 e to the minus jw times 3 plus x4 e to the minus j w4 plus x5 e to the minus j w5. You get the idea. Okay, we're going to substitute for the x values that we know. That's 2. 7, 4, and 1. All right. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to apply Euler's formula. And uh, just for example, you would have 2 times. Now, in the identity that we have here, we're going to replace x by whatever is in front of j. So in the first, for the first one, um, what we would get is uh, 3 times omega. So we would get cosine of 3 omega minus uh, what's in front of j, so minus j sine of 3 omega plus 7 cosine of 4 omega minus j sine of 4 omega cosine of 5 omega and then there's a 1 in front which I'm not going to write oops that's a 6 okay we're going to group like terms. So we're going to end up with a complex expression. So we have 2 times cosine of 3 omega plus 7 cosine of 4 omega plus 4 cosine of 5 omega plus 1 times cosine of 6 omega. And then we are going to have a minus j times exactly the same thing, except that we're going to replace the cosines by sines. Um,
I forgot to write out the multiplication factors, so that's a 7. Uh, we're missing a 4 here. So there's a 4, and there's a 1, 6 omega. And that's it. So we're going to circle our answer. I'm going to put a PDF version of this worksheet in uh, the description. Thanks for watching.